performance task and the subject is science and we're looking at the past paper 2023 and that was done in june okay so you can get this paper free of cost if you like by clicking on the link in the description and downloading it for yourself okay so let's jump right in all right let's read the general instructions it says this task has three parts part one two and three read information in each part carefully use the information provided to answer all questions in each part instructions to begin carefully read the introduction to the task then move on to answer each question okay so introduction to task the tomato garden best friends jenna and patrick would like to start a tomato garden however they are not sure of which of which method of growing food to use patrick believes adding chemical fertilizers to soil is the best way to increase the mass and number of tomatoes produced while jenna believes that adding chicken manure to soil will increase the mass and number of tomatoes produced. Jenna and Patrick plan to carry out an investigation to determine which method of growing food is best. They have asked for your help. How can you help? You will need to help plan a scientific investigation. That's one. Two, provide an explanation for changes observed during the investigation. Three, Make a, make a recommendation about which method of growing food is better for increasing the mass and number of tomatoes. Four, use data as evidence to suggest a disadvantage with using the method of growing food that was recommended. Okay, so those are the things that we need to look at. Let's jump in, guys. So here's part one. Jenna and Patrick's investigation plan. Use the information below to answer question 1 and 2. For their investigation, Jenna and Patrick decided to place one tomato seedling in a pot containing soil only. So that's part A. 2. Place one tomato seedling in a pot containing a mixture of soil and chemical fertilizer. That's part B. 3. Place one tomato seedling in a pot, of con a pot containing a mixture of soil and chicken manure. That's part 3. I'm sorry, part C, because Jenna and Patrick, they're set out to get like heavier and larger tomatoes, right? So that's why I shaded C, soil. If what you put in the soil or based on the soil or what's in the pot, if you change this the seedling, then it's not going to give you the right type of um, answers that you're looking for. So what I did I selected incorrect, right? B, used to make soil in each pot. The table below shows the data they recorded. Use the answer, use it to answer questions 4A and 4B. So here is a table. So here are the number of soil organisms based on the three pots. And this is the duration or the time. Okay, as you can see, pot A like same thing over up to 12 weeks pot b started out with a lot with, with, with 14 and ended with five pot c started with 10 and ended with 10. so i would say that um, we have information here that we can look at all right so 4a state what would likely happen to the number of organisms in pot a if the investigation lasted three more weeks I wrote nothing would change. The organism would remain the same. Okay. So what do you think? Because in part A, there's no fertilizers, no manure. It's just the soil. So I don't think anything would change. All right. 4B, explain the likely cause for the decrease in the number of organisms that was observed in part B. Remember that pot B, if our memory serves us right, is chemical fertilizer. So I think the decrease would be based on the fact that the chemical fertilizer